Hi and welcome to Read Help. Today we'll be discussing the difference between dyslexia, hyperlexia and Erlen syndrome, also known as perceptual dyslexia. We have with us today Dr. Paul Whiting, who's an expert in, in, in this field. Uh, Paul, what can you tell us about those differences? Well, dyslexia and hyperlexia are easy. Dyslexia uh, is difficulty with working out words. For whatever reason, the child or adult has difficulty working out words. They don't have difficulty working out other things in life, but they do have difficulty with that specific thing. They may be very good at mathematics, but they're not good at working out words, and that means reading and spelling are difficult for them. However, with a dyslexic person, if I read it to them, or if they see it on television, they can understand it perfectly well and talk to me about it and discuss it, and they may even be better than other children in the class at doing that. But when it comes to working out that words, no good. Those words, no good. The hyperlexic child or person is the opposite. They have no difficulty working out words at all and you're surprised at the rapid progress they make in their reading when they're very young. But when you ask them what it was all about, that book that they read to you so perfectly, they don't know what it was all about. They, their brain doesn't apply itself to what we call comprehension. And so we need to deal, uh, for them, we need to teach them how to comprehend what they're listening to or reading or whatever it might be. And that is, uh, often quite difficult to do. Okay, fantastic. Now, Paul, can somebody not have any of those conditions and still have problems reading? Uh, well, uh, yes, they can, I, in the sense that if you have a visual perceptual difficulty, uh, you, you typically wouldn't have any of those problems, but you might appear to have those problems, you see. So if, for example, when you look at the page and uh, the te text is not clear and the longer you look at it the less clear it becomes or it starts to move or jump or, or something like that um, and the page is too bright and you start to get a headache or in some cases even feel nauseous as you look at the page that really stops you working out your words but your brain may be quite capable of working out those words it's just that your visual processing is stopping the message getting to your brain so that your brain can do the work that it's very well equipped to do. So a visual perceptual dyslexia can appear to make you dyslexic in the sense that you can't work out your words. But in fact, it's not true. We just need to teach, uh, sorry, we just need to retrain the brain and we need to change the visual uh, pathways so that the message gets to the brain and is able to be interpreted easily. Okay, fantastic. Paul, thank you very much for your time today. If you're looking for more information on this or any other literacy condition, please visit our website at readhelp.com.au. Thanks for your time.